everyone, this is Lindy. I'm Russell. From Love Create Celebrate. And today we are talking to you about our shower. So we're excited to share our shower install with you. We decided to go with the Ubao waterproofing system. Um, we're gonna tell you why we love the system, how it's 100% waterproof, and how it's a super professional install once you're all done. Yay, can't wait to show you. Right on. So opening up the box, you have your instructions the stainless steel plate. The next level, you have your locking ring, your grate and assembly, screws and grease. And finally, you have your ABS adapter ring. To prepare for our shower pan installation, we had to chip into the concrete and move our ABS drain pipes, as previously there was a bathtub installed at this location. You can also see here how we have a recess around the ABS pipe. This is to allow the ABS adapter ring that comes in the kit to be installed. Before I actually put the glue down, or in putting the glue down, I did a whole dry lay. Um, I laid out all my pieces, made sure my drain all fit, to make uh, sure that I didn't make any changes to the holes or alignment. And now that I know everything fits, I took it all apart and I'm going to glue down my uh, subfloor shim, which is two pieces of half inch plywood and then one piece on the top of half inch cement floor. So I'm just using PL Premium to glue it down to the concrete floor. And I'm going to be fairly generous with the glue. We shimmed up our shower pan in order for the shower pan to sit flush with our bathroom floor. You can also install the shower pan on top of your subfloor. This will just result in the shower pan sitting higher than your bathroom floor. Another item to consider is that you need to ensure that you have 2 and 3 eighths of an inch between the base of your shower pan or the top of your subfloor and the top of the ABS pipe. This ensures that your ABS adapter will fit correctly. Whether you're working on a concrete slab like we were or if you have access from the underside, you want to ensure that your ABS pipe is in the correct location and that you have your hole cut in the right location and it's centered to the pipe as this is going to determine the final location of your shower pan. Taking your stainless steel support plate, you're going to do one final check to ensure everything is aligned correctly. Take the ABS adapter and put it in place, pressing it onto the ABS pipe. You're going to make sure that that hole is in the right place and that the shower plan is in the right place. In our scenario where we were gluing the shim down, if things weren't aligned correctly and we went to install the adapter plate once the glue was set, we would have created a lot of extra work for ourselves. With your stainless steel support plate secured to your subfloor or shim in our case, you can remove the ABS adapter now and install it permanently. I installed it myself, but if you're not familiar or comfortable with plumbing, I would recommend hiring a plumber to complete this task. Here is a close-up view of the support plate. You can see here how I have a buffer around the ABS pipe. I blocked out the concrete when I re-poured the floor using some styrofoam and some tuck tape. And then I just removed the little donut once the concrete had set. You can see the levels of the shim. So from the top of the ABS pipe to the top of that stainless steel support plate, I have two and three eighths of an inch. With the ABS adapter installed and the glue set, I'm preparing to install my shower pan. You're gonna use a square notch trowel around the stainless steel plate and you're gonna use a V-notch trowel on the stainless plate. You're also gonna pull your thin set all in the same direction. This ensures you don't have any air trapped when you go to set your shower pan base. You want to ensure a tight bond between your subfloor and the bottom of your shower pan to ensure that the locking ring installs correctly afterwards. Mix up some thin set and begin applying it to your subfloor.
Once the thin set is on the subfloor, you can now back butter the back of your shower pan. You can see here that these foam bases actually have a cementous material already on them to promote adhesion between your thin set and the shower pan. You want to ensure that you do not get any thin set on the rubber seal as this will affect how the locking ring goes on to the ABS adapter. If you do get any thin set on the seal, it's no big issue as you can just wipe it off. Once you confirm that there is no thin set on the rubber seal, you can take the grease that comes in the drain kit and apply it to the underside of the rubber seal. With the grease applied to the seal, you can install your shower pan. If you cut down your shower pan, you're going to want to ensure you install it in the correct orientation. Once you have your pan over the ABS adapter, you can jump around or use weights to ensure that the thin set is pushed out underneath. Once you think you have your shower pan down securely, take your lock earring and test to see if it will lock on the ABS adapter. If not, you might need to get back on top of the shower pan and move around just to squeeze that thin set out further. When you're going to install the locking ring, do not use force. This will end up in you breaking the ring. If the ring is installed correctly, you'll hear a faint click when you rotate the ring in place and the paint marks will match up. We've got the shower pan successfully installed. It's uh, the thin set is set and now we're moving up. Now I'm just showing you how this product works. So it is similar with uh, some of the other waterproofing systems known on the market. Uh, what's cool about this system, which I really like, is that you don't need to use the overlapping uh, tape or seam tape. So this stuff, you just use uh, sealant and adhesive to waterproof your seam. What also is cool is, I don't know if you noticed when I installed the shower pan, is there's a groove in here that the board actually sits in. So the board actually drops into this groove, which you would put in sealant first. You put it into place, it pushes the sealant up, and then you take a trowel and push it flush. So what this does is when the water comes down, it's going to hit that sealant and come this way. The tape, you always have a bit of an opportunity for the water to get behind it. So this makes it 100% waterproof. I really like this detail. This stuff cuts just with a knife, this is a scrap piece, but you just score it, just like you would with drywall. And it breaks, and you can score, you can score the back, and that's how it cuts to get nice clean edges. And you screw it onto the wall, just with the screws and the washers. They have little uh, grips on the back, and you just hit it into the corner, and then it will hold the board down. So yeah, next I'm going to install my boards and I can show you what this looks like. I don't have any video of me applying the sealant, but in this picture you can see the sealant being placed along the edges of the boards, at the base of the boards, along the seams of the boards, around the niche, and also over all the screws. Here's some images of the curb installation. Originally we had thought we were going to go curbless, but when we did a trial run of the installation of the shower glass, it didn't look quite right. So we decided to go with curbs so that we could raise the height of the glass. To install the curbs, then set the bottoms and edges and position along the edges of your shower pan. Hey everyone, so we have our curbs installed now. We actually got our floor tile in. Um, now I am getting ready to install the drain grates. This drain, it actually has some movement in here, so you can kind of center it to your mat, which is nice, so that you have a bit of play in regards to where your pattern lies or falls with your tile. Um, how this works is you take your Uber seal and you put four dots on these yellow markings and you set your grate like so. And then when you, you'll have a bit of time to set it, I'll put the pin set down and I'll put my uh, mosaic tiles down and uh, you still can set it a little bit. Um, the other cool thing with this is it has a height adjustment. So I have a fairly thin tile, so I'm pretty much maxed way to the bottom, but if you have a thicker tile, you can actually adjust your height in here. And so that, that allows you to kind of your great uh, move your tile weight. Um, yeah, so that is everything. So the next thing I'm gonna work on is setting tile. We're done, the tile is all set and we couldn't be happier with the Ubao waterproofing system. This system hit all the check marks for me. It was professionally put together, it was well thought out, it went in easy and it looked great. 
I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more renovation tutorials, hit that subscribe button. As always, for more great DIYs and tutorials, visit lovecreatecelebrate.com.